Hi, I'm Phil Constantine. On this episode of Travels with Phil, we're going to Utah and Canyonlands National Park and specifically to the Upheaval Dome area. I live in San Diego, so let's travel across the American Southwest, all the way across Arizona, up into Utah. And there you see it from space, Upheaval Dome, a very unusual geological feature. In fact, let's zoom in a little bit and take a look at it from a better angle. Very nice. Alrighty. The updraft area in the center is about 3,500 feet across. The first ring from side to side about three miles. The second ring is about six and a half miles across. And the central peaks rise about 750 feet from the floor. And from the bottom of the floor up to the edge of the first ring, there's about 1,000 feet. Then the trail outside is 8.2 miles. So let's take a look inside. Travels with Hill continues in Canyonlands National Park. This section is called Island in the Sky, and it's absolutely unique. Pardon the extra superlative. It's Upheaval Dome here in Utah. Sorry, the wind's blowing. I'm having to re-record this. Pretty much a circular dome here, an upthrust in the middle. Scientists are really confused as to what caused it. Well, some of them are. It's a controversy. Whether it's meteor, salt dome, magmatic, upthrust... It's a little hard to tell for some folks looking for evidence. The entire trip around the top is about eight miles. That gives you an idea how big it really is. Hi there. It's just part of Canyonlands. There's other spots out here. Dead Horse Point State Park is another one. There's what they call a second overlook. You can see people over there standing up there looking at it from that angle, getting a different viewpoint from the uh, central upthrust area. And overall, it's a place I've always wanted to go. Love geology. It's called Island in the Sky because this big mesa, it's almost like being on an island. Travels with Hill continues from Upheaval Dome. This is a slightly different view, a little bit further west. high up here and even up here the tenacity for life is amazing a tree right here I'd say it's maybe four foot tall I don't know if it's juniper or pinion and then over here on the opposite side or just further down this is the uh, official second overlook well actually that's part of it because you can see just right there above my finger. There's some folks, somebody in orange, I mean somebody in reddish and somebody in blue still walking on. So that may mean that the other overview, the official one is over there. But you can see there's rock kerns or cairns along here. Rock stackers along there. Gives you place and you can actually see where they've cut out some steps right in there on going. So I think I'll go back and look and see what that looks like. Travels with Phil continues from Upheaval Dome, Island in the Sky, Canyon Lands, Canyon Lands. <laughs> Got some candy in my mouth. Canyon Lands National Park. Travels with Phil continues again. This is the official second overlook at Upheaval Dome. And the first overlook is Somewhere over in there. This is about a half mile further on. Can't see them right now, but uh, you come over that hill there and then zigzag down back behind the ridge there. But this is just so unique. It's hard to see, but uh, down there. Just to the left of the peak, I'm gonna try to hold this still. Just to the left of the peak, you can see a little bit of a zigzag trail right there. And that's part of the hiking trail to get in there, so it shows you how deep down that is. And it's not Grand Canyon deep, but it's pretty deep. I don't have the numbers with me, but I'll try to look it up. Well, there's a few spots like this in the world, but uh, not many. That's looking down. folks. A place I've always wanted to go. Now you 
I've seen it up close and personal. <laughs> with Phil continues up the trail, coming back from second uh, overlook over there. In fact, it's hard to do this right over there. This is the trail going up, and listen to this rock. Not much sound. Listen to this rock. Hollow. That one's hollow sound. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to make comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the circle with my picture in it in the lower right hand corner of the video. The arrow is pointing at it now. And once you have subscribed, you can be notified of when I have a new video posted by clicking on the bell icon in the description field below the video. Thanks again for watching.